Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. What a busy news day this was. And it's still kind of going on. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I should do videos about P. Diddy. I don't know. Jump on the bandwagon. I don't know if I should do that. Um, let me just say, living here in L.A., the things that you hear or if you know certain people that are associated with P. Diddy, let me just say those stories are true. Whatever you're hearing, absolutely 100% true. Anyways, let's get into this seven hour stream. I know that I'm not going <laughs> to react to the whole thing. I'm going to skip probably a majority, a majority of this. Last night I woke up, what time was it? Maybe two in the morning. And then I looked to see if she's on because of the time difference. And she was on. So I was like, okay, didn't watch it. And then I came on again at 530 this morning when I woke up and she was still going live on live. So and completely blitzed out of her mind, a.k.a. baked. So, yeah, let's get into it. Well, Shani, I'm guessing, right? You are first. Yeah, I'm sorry you're going through that, Shani. I, I hear you're going through a time in Rev and so I'll keep Rev in my prayers. That's too bad figures that she would feel sorry for Shani and Rev uh, a couple of disgusting individuals like Chantal but yeah I know what it's like to be alone you feel like mm. yeah sure you know Sucks. but at least he's getting help he needs right so <laughs> I mean in that Shani and Rev situation I don't know if any of you guys know about it I'm sure probably a majority of you do is Rev actually the problem or is it Shani? In my opinion, because I've watched them over the years here and there. Not not like a constant viewer of theirs. But it seems to be like Shani is the issue. I don't think Rev was like this before he, he met Shani. And I think she kind of corrupted him a bit. So yeah, I think Shani is definitely the problem. If Rev leaves the hospital and goes right back in there with Shani, it's going to start all over again. Or like sometimes you like you're forced to separate but then you just want to be back together like the next few hours i hate that feeling oh is that what's going on is that what's going on chantal were you, were you and glitter tits forced to separate i kind of think so this is what extra ice gets you hey scrape goat why do i always keep my earphones in i put on random like live streams or videos when i go in the elevator so i'm not alone Weird. Lindsay, how are you, Beezer? Carrie, hello. Barbara, hit with a hog. Hit a hog with a hammer. Hey, Melly, hey. You on the toilet? <laughs> Java. Hey, Duck Puppet, Miss Fortune, Purple Mermaid, Darinay, Late. Why would you ask somebody if they were on the toilet? Was that for Salah, so that he knows? Here lies uh, Swag Daddy. Gunt is such a gross word. Don't you think so? Gunt, 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 hello, gunt, gunt. Hello, coconut. Mangoes. Actually, the word I don't like is moist. I don't know. That's just, that's an ick word for me. Double dog. Bree. Amber Heard. Oh, no, not I'm Amber Heard. I didn't wash my face yet today with, like, soap. <laughs> As opposed to what? Mom's silly channel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I woke up late. I, ch like, I didn't hear my alarm go off. And I'm like, oh, great. I checked my phone. It's 11 a.m. I was supposed to get up at 6. <laughs> hey, Chucky. You have gotten notifications, yes. Now, spot, spot. Uh, everyday life with Becca. Oh, yeah. New cruise. You're always going on a cruise. I'm so jealous. Lucky, Lindsay. Have fun. Hi, Chazelle. Kelly. Imagine Chantal on a cruise. She'd be at the buffet 24-7. Uh, no, Bangkok. 7-Eleven, uh, I haven't. Um... The clinic, yeah, I'm actually really liking it. Hello. You're like so two I days got in. Myself, uh, hey, window liquor. Yeah, I got my rest, I guess, but I got a iced mocha and it's so good. Mm. Like, it's crazy good. The flavor of the coffee. Realize, yeah. So, um, I'm cuddling my two living dogs. Yeah. 
listen, youthy, I don't have, I don't have a problem with people use, euthanizing their pets if, if they're really sick, you know, and that's the most humane thing to do, you know, like, but don't come for me for that, for, for looking into that. Uh, when you've euthanized your pets, exactly my, my point. First of all, people, yeah, people euthanize their pets when they're sick, you know, or, or dying or, you know, were injured in an accident or something like that. But you were going to euthanize a perfectly good cat that, yeah, had is elderly and had some issues like elderly humans and cats do. But that doesn't mean to put the cat down, Chantal. I mean, if that's the case, should we put you down as well? Because you have health issues. Hi, Tabitha. I mean, BBJ is not healthy. <laughs> She's like 21. Um, you've seen all the health issues that the, the vet outlined. So that's my only point with that, you know? So cuddle your dogs, yes. Cause health I issues that are manageable, Chantal. Not like a cancer diagnosis where like somebody can't afford the treatment or if the cat's just suffering. Nothing like that. It's manageable health issues there's a complete difference it's don't last forever 39 months loyalty bees are ready set ready set <laughs> Lindsay, thank you for the continual support my dear <laughs> thank you where's the i didn't see it blocked what oh baby d sorry to hear that Yes, cozy on up in here because we're, yeah, a lot of us are struggling. I guess the Clinique is not working for the jaundice because it's still coming in nicely, Chantal. In here. Hey, bagged soup. <laughs> you hear this man coughing beside me? There's people all over the hotel are coughing. Because of and, you. And, you know, you're probably thinking you probably gave it to everybody. Yes. Or they gave it to me. You never know. Please. Like, that's how it is when people are sick. Hi. There was no coughing when you arrived at the hotel, Chantal. You were there for what two days and then all of a sudden it began the incubation period and then everybody's infected i i'd say you're the cause so woke up late because i wanted to get up early because i wanted to, to do a live stream at like 7 a.m my time because that's like a really good time for to, to get the most of you guys in here oh your cat farted i hate when julia does that hey jess did you know that cats don't have gas really that much um because their digestive tracts are so short that there's no time for the food to like ferment and cause gas so if your cat has a lot of gas, it might be a health problem. My gas usually foo-foos once in a while in my face. You know who has gas a lot? My uh, Cane Corso or Cane Corso, however you want to pronounce it, lady. She has gas 24-7. And I mean like audible farts, like a human. And they smell. It's so bad. It's so bad. Silent but deadly. He's 15. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Every time my cat does it, I'm always like, make a big stink out of it, get it? I wish they would. I know it's funny. I saw Sam, like, move his leg once and fart. It was cute. Anyways, so they came in to clean the room. It really needed it. And yeah. so my room is clean, so I thought, I'll, I'll get out of here this time and go get a mocha. I wonder if she left all of that trash that was on the shelving right there, all of that. I mean, even if she put it in a bag, that's still a large amount of trash for a hotel room. Unbelievable. So I'm sat in the lobby with my mocha, just like people watching while they clean my room. <laughs> oh no, dog puppet. Well, it's better than you sitting in the room while they clean. I don't think so. Melly, what? Where? Melly, sweet love. Thank you. <laughs> Keeping up the Beezer army. Thank you, Melly. I really appreciate that. Um, Shan, you got one? Hey, Krista. Who else got one? Did Scrape Coat Marie or you already had one? I've not played Skyrim. All these youth in Asia. Krista! <laughs> Very important. These are ready, ready, set. I'm going to give you a rebies because you were a beezer for, for so long. Thank you, Krista. Thoughts and glares got one? Thank you, Melly. They skunk in your face? Oh, no. Ew, beezers. Hey, Marion. Who else got a membership from Melly? Thank you. So, um, good news is I think I can breathe a bit better, definitely, than yesterday. So, I think, you know, just giving it a bit of time. Yeah, and not to mention <laughs> if you're partaking in the edibles, that's probably suppressing uh, the coughing and all of that. So, it, I mean, you might not be coughing for right now, but I'm sure the cough is still there. Oh, good, nice. Private dancer, hello. Bree got one. Hello, Lisa Arkey. 
That's lovely of you, Millie. Yes, thank you so much, Millie. I sound a lot better. Hey, Jessica. Yeah, thoughts and glares. Yeah, so I'm just, um, you know, <clears throat> I'm definitely, I've been planning, you know, okay, once I'm like well enough that I can, you know, breathe well enough and not be coughing and, you know, everything else. So then I'm going to be taking you guys to do some things. But then that's, but then you're 600 pounds. So how's that going to work? Yeah, the cough might, you know, dissipate, but you're still 600 pounds or I'm sorry, 500 pounds. That's still an issue, Chantal. Like I'll be doing some things, but, um, <sighs> <laughs> yeah thanks so but I, I need to before I, I go home um honestly I'm not sure about Salah yet hey Soapies he's not coming um so here's the whole deal with that okay here's the lies. whole truth Watch, lies he was supposed to, we were supposed to travel together but um he's last minute was dealing with something he was gonna come meet me after okay now excuse me i'm sorry but what last minute dealing with something takes weeks that's not something that just pops up last minute what this thing is is taking longer than anticipated mm -hmm. so um we're not sure like you know exactly when he's coming but you can literally like see the lies like ticking in her brain she's panning the room with the crazy eyes going back and forth you know, all the body motions of a liar. Body movement, sorry. If it's going to be too close to when I need to go home again, when my return ticket is, I have to kind of decide, you know, well, we have to decide, do we want to extend the trip so that he can come and enjoy some of Bangkok? Or I go home and we just go on another trip, like, like you know, a couple months later or the month after. So, I know people were negative from the beginning. Like, he's not going to go. He's not going to go. He was. He was supposed to go. <laughs> he was supposed to come sooner than this. But that's why if he does come, like, we'll probably have to extend the trip. And I'm just like, do I want to do that? I, like, don't, I don't think he was supposed to come. I think something happened where she had to get the hell out of Dodge. And that's why she's in Thailand. And I think maybe it's something to deal with the apartment. Maybe they got booted out because she was feeding the stray cats. I don't know. But there's something. It's This is not something like some business, unexpected business, because he doesn't have a business. There's some illegal crap going on here. And I mean, if not now, eventually they will get caught. For me, I'm over like I'll be over Bangkok by oops. Jeez, uh, sorry. How long was that showing? I'll be over Bangkok, but for him, you know, it, the only reason I would stay is for him, like, to enjoy, because he never got to do, like, Chinatown and stuff like that. How nice. I forgot whose channel saw that, but yeah, um, your lesbian tattoo, because you love to make fun of lesbians all the time. Your lesbian tattoo was showing, Chantal. I'm sure the uh, Kuwaiti people would love to know that you have that, since you hate lesbians so much. I'm not like a hundred percent opposed to him coming because I'd be homesick, but yeah, at the same time, you know, I don't know. But before I go, I have to do certain things or I'm not going to be happy, you know, take a shower. I have to do some of the temples. I have to do the conjuring thing. I have to do Chinatown. And, like, doing all those things by myself when knowing that he really wanted to do them with me just doesn't make it as fun, you know? Now, the thing is, is I'll have to just get a whole new ticket home if I do extend it. And I don't know if we're... I might stay in another hotel. I don't know. It's not, none of our business, I know. No one else's business, I know. I'm just saying, like, explaining what we're going through, like, dilemma-wise. Like, do we extend it? Do we don't? <laughs> because now the visa, the tourist visa for Thailand, right, is, like, for certain people... What do you mean for certain people? The conjuring thing looks so What does that even mean? Through. What do you mean the Thailand visa is for certain people? What kind of visa are you on, Chantal? Hmm. Is it a 30-day visa? Because you probably can extend that. 
like a visiting visa. Hmm. Myself. You like, give up your, You give up on your. I mean, I you tell like, on yourself every time. You know, like, time. I want to bury my face in him so that I don't have to look at everything creepy. So yeah, yeah. You know why? Because you're one of those girls that thinks being afraid or acting um, timid and like, oh my goodness, and scared and frightened, you know, has to cling on to their man or whatever. You're one of those types that think that's you know, going to make you look more attractive, more sexually attractive. And it doesn't. It makes you look like an idiot. Enjoy the peace of being alone. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, overall, I am. Like, I'm not like, I'm homesick, but not like super bad. Like, you know, I, I'll be okay until I have to go home. What? But. <sighs> so you don't, don't want to go home? I'm not sure. So if he doesn't come, I'll have to try to do some of these things by myself, you know. Um, I liked the movie theater, but the bathroom situation was bad. They need to have a bathroom, like, closer than that. She had to poop <laughs> was, on herself. Like, running to the washroom. Did she poop on herself and fall? Or, like, <laughs> yeah, he, I, I missed a lot. If, <laughs> if she was lost running through the halls of the mall trying to locate where the bathroom was either she fell running which i don't know because she could have broken a hip or she pooped on herself or peed on herself one of those things she um, peed on her pad probably. yeah krista that's beautiful um no one which else, i'm not gonna make fun of somebody doing that because <laughs> all you moms out there know like once you start having kids you can cough or sneeze and and you pee on yourself so lol and food for happiness you know i don't want to do that <coughs> sorry <coughs> this is not our honeymoon i didn't have a honeymoon really for me it was awesome i was you in didn't have country. a marriage either Being or a wedding <laughs> get out of here for him <laughs> alaska cruise bees hey sheena no, I'm in Bangkok, Lindsay. But yeah, Krista, that's how I feel with him too. Like he's my, my friend, my, not <laughs> my best friend. Of course he's my best friend, but like, you know, we laugh a lot together and stuff like that. And that's something that I bring out in him. I give him that side of life that he's not used to. Like, whatever. he's not used to, <laughs> <clears throat> like being with someone who, is just so jokey and like we have these little quips with each other it's usually more probably more conservative type of thing like life for him you know i don't know hey jack so, so, so <laughs> what you're saying is he's not used to being with a child so you're just like a dorky individual is that what you're saying you, you perfect match two dorks <laughs> <sighs> oh yeah Hey, Julia, how are you doing? But yeah, the smoke is really good. Mmm, sugar drink, yum. So I guess we'll see. I don't know what I want to do. Like, if it weren't just me, yeah, I want to go home, obviously. I want to see my oh. pets. <laughs> and I want to cook in my kitchen. Sure, lies. <laughs> What about taking a bath? Do that. So I gotta make a list. I don't know. I know I say I don't like shopping, but I think I'm starting to like it. <laughs> when you have your husband's card and he's not around, get out of here. Get out of here. That's not the life you live. Stop. You were just dogging on, you know, all the individuals that buy expensive things and Birkin bags and all of that. Now, all of a sudden, you want to be like all of us and like with the husband's card and all of this. Get out, Chantal. That ain't your life. It will never be your life. Stay jealous. Stay mad. Oh, hi, babe. <clears throat> Please. <laughs> I was talking about shopping with your money, but I'm... <laughs> what a liar. Babe. Look what I have, babe. I'm she okay. wishes. Who 
owned it. They talked about me, Millie? Who, the authorities? A mocha. So it's espresso, I think, with chocolate. Coffee and chocolate, they just... <coughs> Someone remind me when I get home. Yes, thank you, Melly. I was saying that. I want to make a chocolate coffee cake. Maybe I should get a good coffee machine. Actually, that's a good... <laughs> that's a trick you can do if you make chocolate cake or brownies. Is you can put a little bit of um, instant es espresso powder in there. Or... If you have leftover coffee from the morning, you can mix it in the batter <clears throat> and that deepens the chocolate flavor. I don't know if everybody knows that trick, but that's a little trick. Um, what you're drinking, Chantal, is not real coffee. That's some fake crap. With just It's sugar water, basically. You're not a real coffee drinker. You're a poser. Because, babe, babe if we get a really good babe. coffee machine, I won't have to buy coffees. You need an Cinnamon espresso Joseph machine. Pie's best friend. Wow, really? Is PewDiePie still making content? Yes, I believe so. I wonder what, like, if she were to buy a real good coffee machine, I wonder what kind of coffee machine she would buy. And she probably probably wouldn't even invest in a really good espresso machine to make the kind of coffee that she's um, saying that she likes. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if they, they're... She's bragging about having his card. Let's see if she goes and does that. Yeah, I'm telling you, chocolate and coffee are such a good combo. They are. I do it every morning. I mix hey, cocoa Ghostface. in my coffee every morning. It's and I'm normal. also going to, while I have to, so I'm thinking of like just, you know, relaxing maybe another day or two, then I should be fully recovered. And I'm going to make that plan of all the content to do. Yeah, new gym, <laughs> coffee machine. Um, I'm making a list. Ken covers you often. His wife is in Gore World. <coughs> oh, really? Oh, they're That's talking cool. about Cinnamon Toast Ken. Oh. Okay. The only reason why he's covering you, Chantal, is like that person said because of his wife. If his wife didn't tell him about this whole train wreck over here, he wouldn't even cover you. And believe me, they make fun of you. This isn't a positive thing for you. Maybe you might gain new viewers and stuff like that, but uh, they don't cover you in a positive light. I hate, like, but I don't like about these these video maker people. Some of them, I don't know about him, but a lot of them are like they make me seem like a sad, like my life is sad and I hate my life and life is just shit and hopeless. And it's like, no, dude, I'm like super happy. I'm like. <laughs> You know, Wait, I go through hard things, but excuse I'm like super me. happy. Like, to be Weren't like, you depressed? Just Wasn't it yesterday, I believe so, or the day before? She was so depressed. <laughs> like, now, all of a sudden, I'm happy. Bipolar much, maybe? I don't know. Why, but to have everything I do. The home is like abandoned without you, babe. I know, babe. Actually, when you video call me, <laughs> I can just sense the how I'm missing there. Get out of here. I'm like the light bulb. <laughs> no. The only thing that's missing you is the freaking refrigerator. <laughs> I, t I take care of all of you guys don't even realize it get out of here but yeah i know stop playing well same here babe it's it's pretty empty without you here for sure sure <laughs> my big man <laughs> you big man i'm gonna like kiss the pets like a thousand million times i need to ew they don't want your germs don't cinnamon toast french toast frosted flakes Butterfly birds and roses. If you're ever craving anything sweet, frosted flakes on vanilla ice cream is good, as well as um, <coughs> chili flakes on vanilla ice cream. Give it a try. <laughs> That's so sweet, babe. I know. I'm just going to hang on a bit more, and then we'll be all right. Oh no, is that the I clinic? I receipts in my wallet. Oh, I thought it was the clinic bag mine. again. Yeah. You guys want to see? No, we don't. We have to go before we leave? Okay, we have to make a list. Okay, we make so a list. We have so many of these little things to spend at 7-Eleven, so maybe later. Maybe later tonight we can go. Get some free here. hot dogs. Oh, they finally no. arrested P. Diddy about time. 
Tom working all last week, then worked all weekend, also, so he took today off to spend time. Just he and I, it was so lovely. That's so nice, Krista. Did you like it, Lindsay? <coughs> Those are so cute. Yeah, soapies. Excuse me. When you're sick, you lose your voice. Yeah, that tends to happen. Now you're talking. 17, 7-Eleven bees. <laughs> yeah, but not now. No, we've been I doing that every day. Pasta for, pasta for lunch. <laughs> you know how I am when I obsess over something. I know this is this is reminiscent of the Nashi. And then wasn't there like Indian food? I can't remember what she was eating. Was it butter chicken? I can't even remember. There was like an Indian food period, a Nashi food period. Um yeah, she goes through these weird like obsessions around a certain type of food. M&M &M for Halloween. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. You get syrup and butter inside the little square holes. So much, so superior. Yuck. I've never been a big breakfast eater. Really, Sheena? Wow, it's 2 p.m. So you, you're exactly 12 hours behind me. Paneers and Lakma is going away. He deserves it. He's a woman beater. <clears throat> yeah, that's nice, all he did, he? Chantal. A woman beater. Okay. You would probably defend him. Yeah, I've been on a pasta kick. There's this pasta place I like. <laughs> gravy, do you put on your biscuits? I, haven't, I don't eat biscuits and gravy. But I've already made a, I've already made a list of stuff I want to cook when I get home, babe. I oh. want to make chocolate coffee cake. <clears throat> um, Here we go. Craving some good meatballs. Hey, him love. <laughs> the what happened, Millie? Shit. Why? In Manchester. <coughs> I don't know if she's gonna trigger me to cough. <coughs> um, I think so, Chucky. Hmm. There's meal plant meal services, but I don't think you have to cook them yourself. I have. I would love biscuits and gravy. Uh, have you made salad or meatloaf? Yeah, I have a couple times. He likes my... They, all meat like that to him is called kofta. <laughs> so. Montreal breakfast puts in cigarette fries, puts in an espresso gravy. <laughs> Ew. Oh. I hate that when that happens, Millie. That used to happen to me in the middle of the night, and I would wake up choking. I'm glad that doesn't happen. Acid reflux? Chocolate gravy, yum. I just love gravy. I should make become a gravy connoisseur. I should make gravy pockets. No. Look at no, Stephen Sushi wait. when he made his ranch. I've got to use the facilities. Oh, Lord. Fast forward. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ugh. <sighs> You know, you have to find a balance, I guess. The coffee's gone, yeah. Sucks. It was really good. Okay, I'm 60. How cool does it get in the winter there? Yeah, it does. Like, you know, thanks, Nervous Rider. Um, during the days, like in the middle of winter, it's, it's like touching in Kuwait, maybe 20-something, 20 24, 23 um degrees celsius and then if you're in the desert camping it'll drop to like nine <laughs> nine degrees below 10. the desert's always cold at night it gets chilly i remember us salon like cuddling up we forgot we didn't have a blanket because we weren't expecting to sleep overnight <clears throat> i don't know if it gets I, I don't know i'm gonna have to google it i don't does kuwait get below like i mean does it get to like freezing level I'm not sure. I have to Google that and see. I know out here in Southern California, it does um, during the winter, especially, um, I believe it's in the El Nino time period. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if we're going to have an El Nino or La Nina, but I know it's supposed to rain this week here. Thursday, it's supposed to rain, which is weird because it was like 110 last week. Now it's going to rain. Earthquake weather. I just bought my son three joggers and one zip up from Nike. It was 300 crazy. Eh? Yeah, name brand especially. I don't know if they have hijab stores here, Becca. That's a good. They probably do because there's a big Muslim population. So, but that's a good idea. I could check that out. Don't because, they have an Arab town there? Um, you yeah. I don't know. I need some new hijabs for sure. Yeah, please get some. Yeah, the Freddy Krueger jumper. I know. I threw it away. 
Yeah, you're right. I suck. Yeah, surely they do. I need some of that as well. I need like a new pressed powder. I think the Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me was the best. <clears throat> Be a gin. Just side pony or I actually, and my suggestion teeth. on Amazon, they have Cody, like air spun powder. It's really cheap. I believe, I think it's below $10. That's some of the best powder. It's cheap. It works really well. If you want to um, spend money on powder, I like um, MAC. They they make a pretty good powder as well as Fenty. But the Airspun, the Cody Airspun, I use that. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Halloween store. There's probably some here for sure. I wonder if there is in Kuwait. That would be interesting to see. I think there is a costume shop. Because, you know, not everyone is Muslim there. I look like I'm feeling so much better. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, you look, I can celebrate Halloween. You look extremely swollen. And the one side of your face is larger than the other. And look at the coloration of hand to face. Look at that color. That's not normal. You have like a grayish green tinge to your skin not normal <coughs> like i'm not worshiping the devil or anything i don't see why not so if somebody does that's their choice yeah i do miss halloween private dancer <coughs> you only use dove soap for everything and excuse me halloween is not worshiping the devil so stop it stop spreading lies just because you do not understand and you're not educated. So stop. Mm. Interesting. Uh, I used to, I don't know. I need to get some coconut oil. That's good for like, I want to make my, my own homemade exfoliant with like cane sugar and coconut oil. Oh yeah, sugar. You need that. Mm -hmm. uh, Rub it into your skin. We'll see, I guess. I do Can have you to imagine? get a lot of stuff, like I if said. If diabetes wasn't, like, exploding with her, she's going to get some sugar and rub it in. <laughs> so I'm going to go do some online shopping, I think, right now. And <laughs> some retail therapy. Five soap. Never heard of that. <clears throat> you used to do that? I don't know if I'm going to dress up. I'm not sure yet. You are dressed up I'm now. Sure she's okay. She's probably sleeping. Oh, and coffee. Yes, Stephanie. I can order stuff to be delivered here. Headboard dent. <laughs> Halloween is my favorite holiday. Yeah, me too. Hi, Sherry. Hi. How you been? <sighs> what am I going to have to eat today? Maybe some pasta. Yay, yay, yay. Yum. I want pasta and garlic bread as usual. Yeah. Someone went in the comments like on my video. How much Italian food are you going to eat in Thailand? I could go for pad thai also. No more bagged soup. Go to 7-Eleven? I already know. Maybe later tonight. Eyes and glasses that make eyes look cute. <laughs> Baked Korean. You should dress your fur babies up. Yes, I on Timu, they have they have costumes for hamsters, by the way. So if we have a Halloween Why? party, we would have to have Howie and Julia Don't involved. do that. Why would you subject the animals? Imagine look, a little wig on Julia. I understand, you know, dressing up your dog. Because a dog's personal personality, you know, will allow for that. But a hamster, a cat maybe, depending on the cat. But a hamster, anybody that dresses up a hamster is seriously disturbed. Leah, hmm. she's so funny looking. Why are animals so cute? And Howie, he can have some Halloween cheesies. We'll get him some Cheetos. Take care, Nervous Rider. Bag soup. No offense. Get red bath bombs. They have, I think they have some in black ones, too. <clears throat> Julia needs a blonde beauty wig. I can make bath bombs. Sure, you can't even make food, but you're going to make bath bombs. I need, to come, I need to be a business owner. i got to think of something <laughs> I really want to make. Business make boner. It. <laughs> but in, the thing is, it's easier in Canada. You can get so many supplies on Amazon and stuff for cheap. Cats imitate human babies. I know. 
Like a happy what? Michael Myers shirt. Are you getting a backup pass? Cats imitate human babies. I don't think so. Cats and humans are completely different. But what a weirdo, too, whoever said will. that. I probably will, yeah. You going to make merch? Maybe, I have to. Yeah, okay. And you know, I can make like tote bags and mugs and things to start. But I think like, you know, I'm 40. I still have a good 20 Please. something years. I can, you know, invest my time into something. And for me, I just got to think of an idea. <laughs> Unsober October to make you want to nurture them because we find them. Yeah, cute, I don't know? know. I don't. I, for some reason, I think bath bombs <laughs> wouldn't be the type of business you should get into Chantal considering you don't even bathe daily. So that would be a no go for you you hate cats i don't trust you how can you hate cats they're so adorable they're so freaking cute oh i get where you're coming at <clears throat> i keep forgetting your nickname rosalia kristen each day a little better yes except yesterday i was feeling a lot rougher than usual but i think i got enough rest i'd buy a t-shirt that said beezer proud beezer I gotta work. I gotta. <coughs> I gotta design some merch. Lunch boxes with Foodie Beauty. No. I can't sleep sometimes at night, and I enjoy watching. Hey, Melanie Martin. Thank you. I know it's late for you guys. I really aimed to to go live at like hours earlier. You know, it'd be a good product for Chantal. Now that I'm thinking about it, you know how Jelly Belly has that little bean game, Jelly Bean game, Bam Bean Boozled. And, like, you have all the different flavors of jelly beans. Somebody should create that with all the different flavors of Chantal. Like, <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? Like, her her breath flavor. Her fupa roll flavor. Her, what else? Ass crack flavor. I don't know. That, that would make money. I know. 7-Eleven. Yeah. I'm making bread buns and striking channels. Yeah, what? Rosalia, I am using my new skincare. Except today I didn't use it yet, so... Striking channels, who I better said get that? On it. The dark corrector thing didn't work yet. So what, does she have somebody out there false striking channels? For her? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I know, I'm still a bit wheezy from being sick. Whatever it is, it catches you like that. Like, the just Rona. all of a sudden, like, my nose was leaky and I was coughing... <clears throat> Aww. Cats are a lot more easier to okay, take care of. Okay, I'm fast forwarding because uh, right now she's walrusing. Let's get Thai food. Yeah, I should. <sighs> so she's still talking about what to get. So. And to eat. And I'm like, how far did I dip in? Almost two hours in, 143. We've moved positions and we're talking about food still. You got rid of the kittens, yay! Did they find good homes? Oh, teardrop? With the ones that were left Whenever alive? Whenever a cat's pregnant, do you just let her do her thing? Like, they just know what to do? No. I would be like, do I have to be a midwife? Oh. I did, actually. I I had a dog years ago. Um, Her name was Brandy. And she ended up getting pregnant from a neighbor's dog. And I was by myself. And she went into labor. And she proceeded to have 19 puppies. And they were coming out so fast, she didn't have time to, like, rip them out of the sack. So I had to actually help her do that. I mean, it was an experience. Um, I'll treasure that moment forever with her um, to help her deliver those puppies. But, yeah, it's an awesome thing. I feel similar pain to humans giving birth, right? <clears throat> no, humans don't come out in sacks. Well, sometimes Oh, your daughter do. took them both. Nice. Aww. I miss Kitten. Oh, they're so friggin' cute. But they're so bad. I, I remember, like, thinking when I had Sam the last time, I was like, Kittens? They don't let you sleep, man. They're annoying. You don't like even children babies. They are crazy. I mean, children they're so cats. hyper. And they get into everything. You have to cat proof your house. I don't miss that. Cat? I've never I kind of do, but. Do that. Look at my profile pic. I don't think I've ever had to cat-proof a house. I've had cats. Um, 
did I ever have to cat proof my house? No. I mean, the only thing is like you can't have poisonous plants around and things like that. But other than that, the cats can have free roam of the home. That's one of the dragon fruits. Oh no, jump scare. Oh uh, no, I don't think we've ever tried those, only the pink ones. Oh, the yellow ones? <laughs> Do they taste different? Because I find dragon fruit doesn't have much flavor. If you eat, Sean, go ahead and eat the yellow dragon fruit, Sean Dahl, and see how you fall in love with the toilet very quickly. <laughs> it's like a laxative. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Mm. Yellow dragon fruit is better. Oh no, don't do it. Oh, stillborn baby. Stillborn kitten is over the rainbow bridge. <clears throat> like honey. Oh, yum. Yeah, I found the red dragon fruit just like it was still refreshing, but no flavor. But we still liked it, I guess. I want to try the pink dragon fruit. I think it also has not much flavor. But it has a lot of color. I'll have to ch keep an eye out for the yellow ones. i never seen them around here. They must have them. You never had dragon fruit? It looks like such a cool fruit and then little flavor payoff. Passion fruit is delicious. And um, custard apple. I gotta get some custard apples. They're up the street. Pumpkin pie. Oh, I miss having oh like. What? Here we go. Fast foot forward because I'm don't want to hear about the food. Yeah, I don't again. know if I'm gonna dress up. Like maybe I'll do goth makeup. You're only five two teardrop. Oh yes, you're still an inch taller than me. <laughs> five five. Wow. <clears throat> At five hundred pounds. Most of the girls are five foot to five foot three. Yeah, I don't know what the average height is for a woman. I think it's five three, five four. Is it really? I thought it was like five six, and... five, five seven. I'm five nine, so I'm, I'm usually t I'm like the I think I'm the tallest female in the family. Even my daughter is shorter than me. Um, my mother was shorter than me. My grandmother was shorter than me. Um, yeah, I'm usually taller than everybody else in my family, at least. You're five five. And then with heels on, I'm like six two, six three. You're staying single forever. You're five foot catacomb. -y. Time warp video. Oh yeah. Time warp for October. She's not gonna so maybe do I can any do... of these things. She's actually making a list. Okay. Watch. You know what's gonna happen? She's gonna get back if she is able to get back into Kuwait. Oh, I forgot the list in Th in Thailand. Sorry guys. Watch. Lunch break. I know my food will take a while probably. Let me check. <laughs> Yes, babe. <laughs> when I first babe. saw you, I was like, oh my gosh, he's so tall. I love it. I love tall. So tall I and love it. a peen not to match. I've never been with anyone tall like you, babe. So. Babe. Babe. Yeah. Clothes haul, groceries haul. They were short, and I'm like, why? <laughs> beets are so good. Pickled beets are good. Instant ramen. Food again. Oh, my Lord. Oh, the shelf is clean. It's Sweet amazing. Sour chicken. Food still. I like teriyaki chicken. You like everything. How many hours? I'm asking when I'm out. I'm three hours in. Four hours. Yeah, you protected me from germs. <laughs> That's not the way that goes. Doesn't even fit. Hey Vanessa! It goes the other way, Chantal. Oh, you can fall asleep like this. My dizziness is kinda gone. You got COVID from Yeah, Walmart is a big disease jar. What? Since when? I'm sure. I think you are. <coughs> Thanks, Bill. Those look like her ears. You asked if they had buckets of skin. They have it here. She looks like skin. she has elephant ears on. 
Can't tell by a sneeze. I had dizziness in Bangkok last time. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go because Malaysia's gonna be like an like, you know. I haven't been there yet with Salah. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Humidity? That doesn't help. You guys wanna see the fish? No. <clears throat> Stop harassing the fish. <sighs> Hurry up. I'm just joking. See how long it takes for the li the lasagna? I mean the pasta. I don't know why I order that. Why do I love it so much? I don't know. Fish bees! Because the you're fish a pig. Are cute, eh? I think so. Cute fishy, fishy, fishy. What's my battery at? 51. <laughs> I do have a pulsometer. But what? I didn't bring it. Oh, of course. I was going to say, what's your saturation? Which, stupid. <laughs> it's probably like 90. Yeah, star, exactly. That happens, you know? <clears throat> First few days after you travel. Like, anytime I travel anywhere, I'm going to plan. Um, Here we go. A good, just... Someone messaged me. A few days extra to just, like, I know the jet lag. I might get sick. I mean... Whatever. Come on, how how much is the jet lag from Kuwait to Thailand? It's basically within the same region of the world. It's, there cannot be that much jet lag, and you you've been there for a long time, Chantal. Cut it out. I need the extra time. Give yeah, the yeah, fish yeah. a ravioli. Well, come so long, Sealand. Oh my gosh, I know, eh, Melly? Hurry up, food. When my son DoorDash's food, it's there in like fifteen and twenty minutes. Oh, I know. I think this place is far away. <laughs> I've got to give a good tip. The guy on the motorcycle going far to I get doubt my she does. <laughs> It's 5 45 a.m. there. It's almost 5 p.m. here, so it's time for supper. Not how far, not like two hours or an hour, maybe five kilometers, six kilometers. Uh, let's fast forward again, people. What happened? Oh, there we go. Oh, she, the, the, the food has arrived. I talk to them every day. Well, let's back it up a little bit. Sorry about that. Whoop, too far. Sorry about that. I haven't, I haven't watched this, so like I said, I'm not going to sit here and watch this entire seven hours. I have things to do. I have a life, actually. So that's why I'm skimming it. Yeah, let's see how this looks. Did you order the same Food thing? Reveals. I miss a lot, a lot. Yes, I do. Sure. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Shut up. Keep yummy. That's not your first meal. My first meal today. It is. Yes. Since I've been up, I had a coffee and mocha, and that's it. Ravioli bolognese. OMG, with this extra cheese on She's it. She's so excited. Look so at that. good, y'all. Oh, yes. Let's eat. This middle, I'm starving. Look at that. Look at like bread. a rabid animal. Look at that. Ripping it like mm. a dog. I've never witnessed somebody so bite. excited for food. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I don't know, right, Tracy? Look at this display. Oh my gosh. Where's the weight? <laughs> oh no. She's literally having an orgasm. <laughs> an orgasm from raviolis. Look at that face. Every man's desire right there. <laughs> Get out of here. Like. Chef Boyardee. So they send more? I wish. What if it is Chef's Boyardee? Mm. Well, it's too good. Like, I can't. It's so good. I guarantee, I bet you that stuff is not fresh. I bet you it's some frozen crap with some canned sauce on it. Not fresh at all. I bet you. Mm -mm. I 
definitely take care of the kids and everything. Are you a stay-at-home wife, Millie? Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. She's beauty, she's grace. <laughs> mm. And the jaw knocking you can hear just adds the perfect touch. I guess I'm a couple stay at home wife, aren't I? No, you're not. You're not you even like it? anything close. Smelling being at home? A stay at home wife is not the easiest of jobs. I know a lot of people think it is. But Chantal, you're nowhere near that. You have like absolutely no responsibilities. You do nothing. So no, you're not even one. If anything, you're just a cash cow for glitter tits. That's all you are. It is thin. Ravioli with meat sauce. That probably has pork in it. I'm telling you. If that's a correct recipe, they would have put pork into that. Veal pork. Are you too shy, Belle? Crispy. The bread is... Frozen. It's soft. How much bread did you get? Is that like the third piece? Yeah. I've never been a person like... I'm not saying I never get shy, but to talk in front of people, I like to work. Mm. She, she's, she's a, she rubs me as the type of person that would never or could never do a public speaking engagement because she's so awkward. She would just get up there and do that <laughs> stupid laugh that she does and just turn red as a tomato. That type of person. It's like she's awkward. She she can't enjoy her days off. She'll let's say she gets two days off. She'll take one day if they call her in to work, and then the next she's doing housework and baking. And That's what a normal person does. Going out for lunch with her friend or my aunt or no no relaxed days at home, just lounging. It doesn't exist to her. It doesn't exist for any person. Not even especially if. Let's just say you're a house husband because those exist or a housewife and you have children and pets and all of that. That job never ends. That's 365 days a year, 24 seven. You do not get a vacation. Even when you go on vacation, if the children are there, you're still doing your job. So that's why, you know, I, I will always say that's like one of the most under recognized um jobs there is is to be a housewife or a house husband they like it's it's a lot of work it's not just you know sitting around like chantal does doing nothing eating raviolis no no one in my family likes to lounge like i do and my grandma i don't have a discord i think wrinkly wiener did Aww. Of course I miss my family, yeah. I know you don't. You don't miss them at all. I'm going to talk, them, talk to them a bit later. I bet you the only time she um, really talks to her family is when she needs something. If she needs a place to stay or if she needs somebody to bail her out of something, that's probably the only time she talks to them. In a couple hours? I talk to them every day. Yeah, I don't believe that. Suanne. Thank you, you too. Calistera. So thanks for keeping me company, guys. I really appreciate it. Okay, I okay. How did this end up being so we're at three hours twenty three minutes. How did this end up being seven yes. hours is the question. Mm -mm -mm. Lick the container, Chantal. Yeah, Ruth. What time is it? <sighs> Too far. Oh, wow. You have to be busy. Yeah. Well, if you have kids, you're automatically going to be busy. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. True. Thank you, Bella. 
Was he? They can leave it up to me. Exactly. You're you're always busy with kids. For example, me I took my shower, went to bed, was gonna watch a movie on Netflix. Here comes my son. Help me with my homework. Okay. Up till like ten o'clock. That's past my bedtime. Doing homework. So yeah, like I said, when you're a parent, you never get rest ever. They leave it up to me. But. My mom always asks if I'm coming for the holidays, but I'm I bet halfway across the world. It's not the same as just, you know, I bet you she will. I have this weird feeling she's going to end up in Canada. Driving down from Toronto or something. Excuse me. Oh, teardrop. That's so sweet. Well, alive isn't alive without you. Teardrop, you're a weirdo. Ew. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I could definitely eat two of those. Good thing they're on the pricier side. I'll keep this fork. I wonder how much she's it. paying for that cap, that Chef Boyardee in a, in a little tub. Okay. Let me have all the garbage in one spot. Well, that was a nice snack. Snack? Feels weird if I don't come live, really? How is that a snack? That was like literally an entire meal. Probably with for two people considering you had like half a loaf of garlic bread. Aw, thanks, Millie. <clears throat> Yum, sussy. Enjoy. Excuse me. Well, well that she's was gonna delicious. have to go to the toilet in a minute. It's like it's not super filling, but it's filling enough. Like, that's a good portion of pasta for one person. A York peppermint patty. Why are you awake, fatal bunny? Tell us a story. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Okay, fast good morning. What? She went, I knew it. She went to the bathroom. Like clockwork. Oh, my. Where did we go? What? What? What is that? <laughs> PBJ. <laughs> I'm guessing she she dipped out to take something, whether it be an edible or some other type of narcotic. That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, she took something. Unicity and sass. Mitzi, you're having a panic attack? Aww. Sorry to hear that, Mitzi. I'll stay alive just for you, of course. Just take deep breaths. I'm always on the verge of having a panic attack too, by the way. Oh, I yeah, look tired. Of course. I know, I Narcissist. Has to be like everyone The lighting, else. and I'm old. I'm malnourished. And I am malnourished because I'm, you know, just because you're overweight doesn't mean you're, you're, you're nourished. You're malnourished. You can LOL. starve in being fat. Did you know that? Starvation is a nut nutritional deficiency. Yeah, so like, you're starving. Oh, like you know, that. that's, you okay, know, that's I not funny considering you're trying to be a Muslim woman and that's one of the rules in Islam is you know not to be gluttonous and considering you know the poverty and things that are going around in the world today you know with money people don't have money and stuff like that and you're going to joke about that you're just a sick and disgusting individual Chantal it's not even funny I'm outside here's my sens sensation God should when curse outside, you and actually me, make you like that the humidity grabs my face like a face hugger from alien Romulus and then I smell fried potatoes. There you go. It's a beautiful view. For a while? Be my guest. Be my guest. Okay, fast forward. It. Help, you know. Uh, thank goodness for bidets. <laughs> I love them. Use grab for adult diapers. Is there any Sears left? I don't know if there's any in the world left, but they've all like gone gone under from where I'm from. So I don't know. I don't know. She's getting the wonky eyes again. 
One almost went in the other direction. JC Penny, yeah, they probably do too. Her face is so swollen. Independent person. You can really see it, the swelling person. in her face. <clears throat> on one side versus the other. Look at this ugly phone case. This thing came off. It was like a handle. So I ordered one from Timu. So my Timu order is waiting for me in Kuwait. Don't forget. I well, I doubt the Timu <laughs> phone case is going to be any better than the one right there, Chantal. PJs? I have some. I do have a lot of PJs, and I have some PJ bottoms. Of course you do. That's so all I'm not worried about that. It's just... Bras from Sears, you know. To Von Ma. I've never heard of it. Sears? Hey, Von excuse me. Sears had good bras back in the day. Don't don't bag on that, please. Hello, Living Laura. I've been live for four hours. I feel like doing a marathon or something. Night Her face looks like she's about to have a stroke. It looks so different on the inside. Two bees, we must go hand in hand. In the streets, we will bees. And we will. Doesn't take it look like stand. it? I don't know. I think it, it was, I forgot, was it Goose Chuck? She made a community like post. Sears I forgot who it was. Reflections. I think it was her. Remember um, Okaton? I can't remember. I'm sorry if I can't remember seven, who it was. Uh, that they made a post with a picture. And, I mean, you can literally see the difference on both sides of her face. I mean, look at the redness on one side versus the other. Even with the filter on, you can tell that that side of the face is swelling more. Unbelievable. Yeah. And she's going to sit there and just stare at herself like Hello, it's Debbie. normal. My mom has a sales time day. Uh oh. <laughs> Edibles kicking in. Or whatever. You kissed before. Narcotic. Said, really, Belle? Meow yeah, meow. Yeah. Like Alpins? Never heard of it. Did they say Kalanapin? Some stores I used what? to shop. My mom used to shop at and me too. Cotton Ginny, Okaton, Susie Shear. <laughs> Excuse me. Never at Lulu Vemon. My sister loves that Lulu Vemon. <laughs> Meow, meow. <laughs> uh, forget Lululemon. I'm not spending $100 on workout pants or yoga pants. My daughter likes them. She's like, yeah, they're the best. No. I will go to Target and buy my crap there. Thank you. It's a donkey. When the night is upon us. Oh, Lord. Please stop. <laughs> Olan Mills? Paper for what? Like a writing paper? Yes. <laughs> That's what you do with paper. Hey, Paula. Kmart. Love their blue light special. <laughs> yeah, yes, I remember that. Cow pectate. Kao pectate? Beyond the rat. Portraits. Dark blue or black. You can black. see her like slowly zoning Kmart out. was the best. Well, I think we had a Kmart and then a Woolco. We had a Sears. Man, I miss Kmart back in the day. Going there as a kid and then they had like the snack part up in front. You get a popcorn and a Slurpee. That was the best. I don't think we have a major department store now. Walmart, that's it. Primark. Who remembers... Yeah. Who remembers Newberry's and Woolworth? Yeah, that that's some throwback shit right there. Those are the, you know what they don't make stores like that anymore. Like Five and Dime that had everything. I mean Target, yeah, is kind of like that, but not like Newberry's or Woolworth. They had like a certain type of feeling about them. It was just a better type of store. I miss that type of stuff. And in Kuwait, the department stores. I don't think. What are the department stores there? There's a center point. It's very different. I remember the first job I ever had was at Thrifty's. If you guys remember that, it's currently what's known as Rite Aid. Right now, they used to be Thrifty's. That was my first job, and I hated it, especially doing the ice cream when you would get assholes that would come in and ask for ice cream. That was the worst. Fashion book. Yeah, Ned Raj, I'm still in Bangkok. Banging no cock. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly for how long. <laughs> but... 
forever and ever. Sadie pa. I need to use that snow bleach cream on, cream on staring at it. Oh my god. I'm trying to picture where to put it. Why does she keep bringing that, that up? Nobody that cares. Look right at uh, Is this a flex, Chantal? Do you think you bleaching your nether reason, re regions um, is some type of flex? And uh, is it like, it, uh, is it a a mating call to whoever? I don't know what it is. I don't think any of us need to know about this or ever wanted to know about this. Um, and I don't think any man would be more attracted to you because you bleach your chocolate starfish. No, thank you. Stop talking about it. They're pudding parfait. Yum. I love pudding. Of course Butter you do. Butterscotch pudding is my favorite. Ew. No. From those like little pudding cups. I don't like pudding. Yeah. No. Mama juice. Mama juice. Mama. Thanks, she, Debbie. She reminds yeah. me of the fat kid that would eat <laughs> all the pudding and steal pudding from other students at school. I don't know. She reminds me of that kid. I'm feeling a, a lot better than yesterday. My allergies are destroying me. Oh, no. Do you take anything for it? Benadryl. No, I have a return date, but I might extend it. Thank you, Mimi Cherry. Just not sure yet. You know, I don't understand. Um... Why would she extend the date, but then she was saying she can't, she has the return date, but then can't refund it for a sooner ticket? It doesn't make sense. So, like, the lies that she tells do not match up, like, in reality. And I don't understand why she gets so upset when people call her out on it, when we catch her in these lies. And then she creates more lies to cover up the lies. It's It's like a whole web she has weaved <coughs> maybe one day i can explain everything to you guys but <laughs> can't you know, wait I just like to be quiet about everything going on oh life. wow that's some tea right there you know? yeah we know no way ruthie pie small world that's cool <laughs> she follows me too and right now benadryl because my eyes are itchy it's really really cool to have people follow you I have to say. What are you talking about? Are you talking about the people that you bought? Spill some tea? What tea? She wants to Your so BFF bad. Your is the one that showed She you wants to talk army? so bad. <laughs> Maple donut bar. Are there any of you here that don't watch ALR? Or do we have the same audience? Go make tea and literally spill it. Oh, hell no. Maybe we'll watch you together next time. Nice! Booty booty watch party. Yeah, I know, teardrop, eh? About time. You don't, Nidraj? You don't, Penny May? Okay, so there's a few of you maybe who don't. I watch Amberlynn <laughs> read sporadically. I don't watch her all the time because I find her to be annoying condescending and extremely arrogant like con uh, like Chantal um but that being said I believe it's gotten a little bit more interesting over there considering Justin Feeder ha eyebrows has entered the chat so we'll see how that goes over there especially it looks like um she has an upcoming trip to Wisconsin 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 almost couldn't say it where Justin Feeder lives, so that should be interesting. That's really cool. You know? You hear the guy? Sounds like a dog barking. <coughs> How thin are those I hope I feel so much better tomorrow. I need to get out of here. I have cabin fever. Hey, j Riff from Pennsylvania. Get your cheese popcorn. Oh, I ate too much of that yesterday. It was so good. It's called Cheese Pro Max. <laughs> I don't know why it's called Pro Max, but it's like so good. It sounds like a protein drink. Started watching from Charlie. Does that mean from the beginning? Cabin Fever is so good. Hey, Victoria. Yeah, that is a good scary movie. Yeah, true YouTube lover she is. You need some nutritious food that will help you feel better. Yeah. Is, is ravioli nutritious or no? You mean like fruits and veggies, eh? 
I know, I know. Our theaters have all kinds of popcorn. Like dill popcorn? Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Chili dogs and cheese and onions. Chef Boyardee, you don't count. <laughs> I love the Chef Boyardee ravioli. I put Parmesan cheese on it. Of course you do. I'm surprised I you didn't put really cheddar. Uh, hands are so swollen. Anyways. Wow. So. Okay, I'm going to fast forward again. Okay. So we're now four and a half <laughs> hours, really 436. Sunny. Yeah, teardrop, it's awful, isn't it? She's in the dark and her eyes have gotten smaller. No, if I was in public, I don't know what I would have done. Ew. It must, it happens though to people. Ugh. Wait, did I miss something? Let's go back. I almost missed my, I almost missed my uh, shuttle bus to the airport. I was, I had no alarm set and it was the Cuba rage the night before I was really, had a whole bottle. I woke up and I'm like, oh, and I go be, I had to be sick. I, I, I've never been that hungover in my life. This Man, I drink. have back in the day. And I'm waiting in the lobby in the heat of Cuba, dying of thirst, sick to my stomach. I'm like, how am I going to get on the plane? Oh my gosh. I deserved that to go through that. So, I don't miss that. That was the worst feeling. No, I never talked to her. She fell in love with uh, some guy. She fell in love with oh, San no. Pedro. Here we go again. With some guy from the resort. Like, why would you fall in love with a resorty? Like, <laughs> <laughs> why would you fall in love with a guy from Kuwait that Are you, you don't kidding? know? Like, no, not because they're, they work on the resort, but because come on, how tacky is that? How's that tacky? I mean, I what about we? Excuse me. What about you? What about you, bitch? What did you do? <laughs> like, really? The nerve. Get out, Chantal. I know I did what I did, but I forgot about that. So anyways, I'll oh, shut up. Yeah, you <laughs> Shut <need> to. up. <laughs> didn't anyways. You, didn't you allegedly bang some guy? What was his name? I cannot remember his name. And then gave him the computer? Isn't that you? Hmm. And his family was calling you and everything? Yeah. So, yeah, that was a rough journey home. That's for sure. <sighs> I bet the smell was amazing of you being hung over on a plane. <laughs> that I found God was it was worth it to go, yeah. Yeah. It was an experience. Yeah, it's empowering. You feel like empowering. you can do anything, you know? You put your mind to. Wow. Which I do believe. Me too, teardrop. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. If you with do myself. believe that, Chantal, why haven't you done anything then? Explain that. <laughs> I hope it gets me some good points. Wow. You're going to hell for Anyway, that it doesn't matter. <sighs> See, she's that type of person. Um this is like one of the one of the many reasons why I do not follow um religion in general or any type of religion i do believe in a higher power but it's people like this where they think that you know they do good things you know whatever the bible says whatever the quran says whatever your book is that they'll get more points you know god will look at you different god will forgive you for everything blah blah blah, blah. i don't believe in any of that at all it's 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 just it's just wrong to look at god and religion in that way and then you you live like Chantal, like this, just just an evil individual, just floating out here, taking up resources. I'm an idiot. You I are. am. I really, truly. <laughs> Actually, I think it's my mental illness. But I do believe in God. Like here we go with the Honestly, mental illness again. The, like the irrational thinking. Here we go. Yeah, I gave really. And good I'm tip. sorry for talking over her. It's like it's my fault. Sorry. Apologize. Yes. Yeah. Not just good tips, like every day for my cleaner, cleaner lady. I would lay out like little treats. I got, like I picked up a whole bunch of things from the Dollarama. Little miniature deodorants, lotions, lip glosses, uh, candy, sometimes little toys because a lot of the maids have children and stuff. 
and I would leave them like a five dollar bill and then like a whole bunch of the little treats. So does anybody believe that? Does anybody believe this bullshit? I know I don't. Get out of here. The one that never tips, the one that sends food back, all of this kind of crap. Yeah, left treats for the cleaning staff. Get out. Because we were told the maids really like that there, right? So. Please. And they have a dollar rama and the new charger is amazing, Rainbow. It charges my my phone, like lickety split. My credit card. I wanted to buy so many things. Well, at least I had that money when I got home. <laughs> so like, yes. At least you left sword. For, yeah, at least I didn't. I didn't like make plans with them for the weekend. Yeah, you're right. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I didn't make plans. And I went to Cuba. I don't know. He, you were still texting him and begging him for that green peen. He's been, you know, reliving the past. Him and uh, Refrigerator Perry over there with the old screenshots of the text messages and all of that. So you were still chasing it, Chantal. Stop it. That was the best decision. <laughs> but I can't believe I did that. It was like last minute. Like, holy crap. And I got my channel back. Blasphemy. But yes, yeah, the credit card not working was like, I didn't know it wouldn't work. And it really sucked. The room bug was so frightening. It was vengeful. Vengeful? It was huge and in my luggage. <laughs> Did it attack you? It was a vengeful bug. Like it literally hovered in front of me before it attacked me. I was like, it was hovering. And I'm like, freaking, okay, you gotta be strong. Like, it's the most terrifying thing, a bug attacking you? Like, no. <laughs> Bugs sometimes attack demons, so there you go. <sighs> yeah, it's on legs. <laughs> That's I'll funny. wait for that matter. <laughs> it was yeah, probably a June bug. That for sure. You know June bugs like I don't know I don't know what the like official name for them. June bugs, those big black beetles that fly around and they look like they're drunk and they like fly into walls. It was probably one of those. She thought I was attacking her. Has your family ever gone to Cuba? Yes. Yeah, my mom's been to Cuba, Mexico. Dominican Republic, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember where else I'd have to ask her. How do you not know where your mom my is? My grandma traveled? went to Jamaica in the eighties, so she used to do things. But I wouldn't quite her anxiety got well, too she, much. Yes. Did she go down there during like what is it hedonism? <laughs> is your grandma a hoe too? <laughs> Life is crazy where you. Yeah. It's in the family. My meds kicking in. Which meds? I need the a drink. ganja. Opioids. I've never been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I, you've never been diagnosed with anything, I don't believe. Because you've never, I think, the only thing you and Amberlynn continuously do is do the intake. You guys never follow through to, like, complete the process to get, like, an official diagnosis. The only diagnosis any the both of you have ever received is you googling shit on WebMD. That's about it. Uh, do you, no comment, Fufu Egg. Do you think your mom and or sister would come to you and quit? I doubt it. Eggs on legs. <laughs> really, bugs? I did it my way by Frank Sinatra. Yeah, Rainbow. Nice eggs on legs. I miss my mom. Sure you do. Yeah, I miss my mom. I wish we could, like, have a day together. And talk and stuff. And my sister, too. Oh, she had to add the sister. <laughs> and my aunt, of course. Oh, her, too. What about the dog? That is such a fun day when I spend the day with them. Yeah, same here, eggs. Well, borderline personality disorder? I've never been diagnosed with that either. Histrionic personality disorder is Chantal. You should go to Germany, very chill. Oh, yeah? 
<clears throat> maybe someday. Very nice egg on legs. Skype and WhatsApp, yeah. It really is teardrop. It's like so calm and all of a sudden. I love having a girl's day. A girl's day with them, yeah. I need, yeah. Well, every time I've gone to Canada, I've had a really nice time with them. You know? Well, it is your family. You expect to have a bad time? But I just, uh... I don't know. Uh-oh, she's in her feelings. I guess whenever I go down... That's what yeah, she said. Yeah, of course. I know they love me. Yeah, sure. I know you love me. I need water. And no one here to get it for me? It says I got herself. What do you mean? No one to get it? <gasps> what a lazy person you are. Let's skip ahead. Let's skip ahead. The ravioli was so good. Goodbye, blue sky. Goodbye. Some Look. more. Oh, we've moved positions again. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night. I was like, damn, why are my underwear no longer white? <laughs> she is so blitzed. <laughs> Sorry, that's gross. <laughs> How embarrassing. I have to behave. I mean, I couldn't even imagine doing, like, something like this and then getting on a live stream in front of people. I mean, I don't know how many people. I think I believe she had, like, maybe five or 600 people when I checked. But to be on a live, even with that amount of people, to to behave this way at 40 years old, it's embarrassing. Like, I'm embarrassed for her, but then I remember she's an asshole and then I don't care. So... Triple cheeseburger rice. Wow. Modest Chantel, yes. I mean, honestly, my opinion, because she wants to claim that she's married, she wants to claim that she's an expat in Kuwait, then, in my opinion, I believe that the laws of Kuwait, um, when dealing with something like this, should apply to her. So, whatever that is... I don't know what it is. Corporal punishment? Who knows? For something like this to partake in um, illegal activities like this and then publicize it on a public platform as a alleged expat citizen living in Kuwait? Yeah, uh, the government should act upon it, in my opinion, to make her an example. That's the way I feel about it. I mean... <laughs> I know people might disagree with me, but Ugh, that's the way I feel I about it. Off. And that, that could happen to her. Considering <sighs> she is a female and everybody knows females basically have absolutely no rights, no voice in that part of the world. I'm, I would not be surprised if they make an example out of her. Like, I remember... <sighs> I forgot what year it was and I don't rem I don't know if the kid was from Australia or Europe or something or even America. I can't remember. Do you guys remember the kid that stole something or did graffiti? I cannot remember. And then they punished him and flogged him like 10 or t 20 times um, as punishment. Yeah, I feel that the laws should apply to uh, Chantal the same. I don't think she gets to you know, behave in this manner, breaking laws, especially religiously like this, making a joke out of Islam, making a joke out of the country of Kuwait, just making a joke out of an entire culture. And she shouldn't be able um, to get away with this behavior. I don't think so. It's disgusting. <laughs> Our friend. She thinks it's funny. She thinks it's cute. She thinks it's quirky. It's not. At 40 years old? Nothing, everything was contained. I didn't have to change my abaya. Contained? What does that even <laughs> mean? My abaya is clean. Ew. Because I had things on under it. Pooped yourself? You know? <laughs> so, I just changed the things that were under it and put this back on over top. Yes. Because, yeah. You know.
with your thumb. Um. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> She's so hot. I saw it was like a virtue signaler. Virtue signaler. Hate hmm. her in the chat. Hate her in the chat alert. Hate her. <laughs> Hate in the chat alert. <laughs> Uh, and that's another thing she's confused by. If somebody calls her out on her crap, that doesn't mean they hate her. That means they're just calling her out on her crap. Like me, for example, I don't hate her. I don't hate anybody. I just like to call her out on her crap. That doesn't make me a hater. Just whatever. accept it. Accept your whatever. behavior. Like, who cares? Deleted a super chat. Yes. <laughs> Here we go with the rocking back Some and forth. Some cartoons. Reminiscent of my alcoholic mother. That would be so fun. Fabulous. Actually. I hope you don't delete this life. She probably I will. I have been deleting my life. So why would I delete my life? She will. Watch. I don't know. Just hang out. She's Chilling. gonna delete it, probably, because she said too much, in it, or. Because of this behavior right here being baked. You know. Let's zoom in a little. That's all I'm doing. I ain't hurt nobody. I ain't never hurt no soul. <laughs> Scooby Doo. SpongeBob, oh my gosh. SpongeBob is trippy as heck. I love SpongeBob. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's cool. You know, honestly, I don't think this is just edibles. I think it's something else. There's something else going on here. Not just edibles. That's just my opinion. Um, I'm not going to say for my own personal experience because I've never done hardcore drugs. I've partaked in the ganja maybe when I was younger, like in my early 20s. Um, but just from being around it in my childhood and, you know, other people on it. This is not just edibles. I have deleted. No, I've privated some lives. But you know what I mean? I meant like recently. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure yet, Lisa. Like 100% sure. So. All right, golden girl, enjoy. Patrick is Patrick the snail. No. I, oh, no, that's Gary. <laughs> I like this. I like the snail that meows. Oh, if you haven't seen uh, the new SpongeBob movie, I believe it's on Netflix. It's pretty good. The animation is really good in it. <laughs> but SpongeBob scares the crap out of me. Why? I think he's a psycho. No, he's not. <sighs> Honestly, I think he's going to go postal one day. Wow. No, the only psycho yeah. on Spongebob is Sandy. Because she's from Texas and she's not taking no shit. That's why. Is he mad? I'm really tired, guys. Sorry. Whoa, the lightning. <laughs> I can't believe I've been live for five hours, nine minutes. Oh, are you proud? Welcome, everyone. Thanks for <coughs> hanging out with me, by the way. Am I sleepy? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. <laughs> she has dead eyes. Can you tell? Don't I look sleepy? No, you look like you have yeah, no yeah. soul behind those eyes. Completely void. Yeah, there's always thunderstorms. It's monsoon season. In a hotel in Bangkok. Um, Banging no cock. Yalla. This woman's coughing on this side now. In a hotel in Bangkok. Thousands of miles away from you. Um, I don't know what else to add to this one. <laughs> Corey, <laughs> what a weirdo. I'm trying to think of a song. There's this man who's sick on my right side. And on the left, there's a woman who's sick. I can hear the coughing. And then I'm coughing in the middle. Because of you. It's really, really, really It's a gross. sandwich of sick people caused by you. You heard the cough? The marathon live. I've been on for like, yeah, over five hours. 
If you haven't been here at least for a bit, I'd be surprised. <laughs> About to hit the sheets, literally. Why does her hijab look like she's wearing like a ninja mask or something? Like it doesn't look. What is she wearing? It looks bizarre to me. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't want to break the marathon going on. I'm proud of how much hours I've done. Proud? Crazy. You, you did nothing. You were just sitting here Imagine acting a fool for five hours. I hope not. Let's fast forward. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh my! <laughs> she's still here. I haven't oh. been relaxed like Chantel since they knocked me out of surgery. <laughs> How many hours? 5.50, almost six In hours. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, there's something going around, Pam, because everyone around me is coughing. And well, somebody and said it in my, com in my uh, <laughs> comment section because I said typhoid Mary. Typhoid Miriam. That's what it is. <laughs> typhoid Miriam's going around. Thailand. So, and it's a very aggressive virus. <laughs> it's disgusting. She's insane. <laughs> I've not seen the deliverance, no. You should. Your family stars in it. Is there like demon possessions in it? <laughs> it's COVID. Might be COVID. <laughs> might be COVID. It might be COVID. And I might have it, and I, be, I might be spreading it through this entire hotel, but I don't care because I can do what I want. That's Chantal. Uh, I hope not, but... <laughs> Go get checked. That'll solve it. All your grandbabies are sick? Oh, no. Are you having to babysit them? The only people sick in my house right now are my son and me. Um, my daughter's just getting over. She's not sick anymore. She was. But the remaining is my son and I. That's it. With the cough. And my husband didn't get sick at all. As per usual. He never gets sick. <laughs> I'm just reading your comments, Pokorny. Corny? Pokorny! Man, she's crazy. I locked my son for it. No, they won't let me near him. Why did you say that again? Pokorny! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like ordering three raviolis. Oh, she probably did already. They're probably somewhere in that room. <laughs> They're hidden all over the place. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Oh, Deliverance movie. Is there somebody in there that gets possessed by demons? And wiggles a lot like this when they get possessed. <laughs> you did that real well like from giggles. experience. <laughs> yeah, strawberries and cream. I was wondering earlier, I'm like, where's strawberries and cream hasn't been in the chat lately? Uh, no. I didn't go out today. It's pretty good. I wonder if the lasagna <sighs> place... Has like a <laughs> a shop attached to it. She gets it all delivered at the same time. It kind of seems like it. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, don't you want to slap it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm so tired. Every time I'm tired, you guys think hi AF. <laughs> she is. Come on. She's like a little kid. Like if my son came in. 
<laughs> like hi like yeah you would know come on she's like a like a teenager trying to hide it it's so embarrassing <laughs> just admit it who cares you're a fraud we all know it's okay i don't know you're exhausted i think that's part of the i think that's part of the adrenaline rush for her and what she's addicted to is lying about things like in front of people's face and then the reaction that she she gets from them and then she gets a high off that feeling um like as if she's deceiving them in some way and hiding something that they don't know and she, i think she gets a rush out of that it's weird <laughs> Stop, what, your, what did i do i forget already isn't that bad teardrop can we 7-eleven bees Okay, I'm fast forwarding. No. Oh, we changed positions again. We're into the hole in the bed frame. <laughs> or the, the headboard, excuse me. Or the crevasse in the headboard. Hey, it's Larry. I'm just relaxing with you guys. I think I've been on for, yeah, more than six hours. Oh what does it say for time for you guys? An hour to go. I'm going to fast forward it some more. She's changed positions again. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my ravioli? She ordered some more raviolis. <sighs> yeah, I want to see Speak No Evil. Have you seen it? Is that an old movie? Ravioli it's an old right here. movie. Ravioli Clan Brady. How much to go? Yeah, for food. A half an hour? <laughs> yep, a half an hour more. Wow. Amazing content. Yeah, it really call. does, dear Drop eh? <coughs> That guy scares me. I don't know yet, Flopsy. Yeah. Last time it was red sauce. I got a red sauce and a white sauce one. She got two. So how many dinners did she order? Three? There you go, sunshine. They're probably like this bitch again ordering. To drive 10 miles. I didn't get anything yummy to drink with it. Plain old water. And I can't figure out how to open my soda water. If you have a spoon or something, you could do that. Or like I said before, uh, a set of keys, like house keys, you can open a bottle with. But you're not allowed to have house keys, Chantal. So, oh well. I'm still sick. <laughs> yeah. Sick. <laughs> okay, when I go to add more mods, I'll definitely add you as one used to be. How many mods does she have, actually? I think, what, Millie and... Did you hear about what? Teardrop? Like Glitter tips? Sold, sold the Santa. That's all the answers I need. Bottle cap opener? I know, right, teardrop. I'm okay. I'm just hungry. You're always hungry. <laughs> no, of course not. Is she gonna walk downstairs all baked like that? Wow. Of course not, you should be. Let's see. Her name is Seriously, I'm just chilling out. Back in the bed again. Well. I guess the ravioli didn't arrive. I don't know. I'm tired. Cough missing. Chill bees in. She's slurring. I'm slurring because I'm friggin' tired. Yeah. They don't sure. slur when you when you when you smoke weed anyways. Exactly. So that's why I said What the hell? Exactly. So, like I said before, this is not just weed, it's something else. I believe there's some type of narcotic, maybe possibly alcohol in there. I don't know, but it's not just weed. 100%. Maybe Stingray's She's meal. slurring. It is 9.06. What a sad person this is. She doesn't know how to deal with things. 
So in order for her to cope, she has to self-medicate, whether that be with men, whether that be with food, whether that be with weed, whether that be with narcotics, whether that be with alcohol, whether that be with um, the VIBs in her chat. She's always, she needs something to cope. She has no coping skills whatsoever in life. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to check on it. Until she, until she really gets at the root of the eating issue, because obviously there's a root there. There's a root to her awkwardness, um, the root to her obsession with men, all of this kind of stuff. Until she gets to the root of that, all of this behavior, everything will just continue until her demise. Guaranteed. Coming. which is sad because she knows it, it. Really she knows it she just refuses to put the work into it to get, to get healthy and that includes mentally healthy <clears throat> okay hold on guys <sighs> all right folks what we're going downstairs. <laughs> what do I eat? I eat like twice a day. Lies. Is that a lot? <clears throat> it's not a lot. I mean, depending on what you eat. I don't eat. think it's that bad. Yeah, but you eat twice a day and then snack in between on crap. Yes. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm fine. Look at that, spreading germs all in the hallway. All those little particles just my mouth coughing everywhere. With my arm. Which lies. So you, you can't do that. You have those little Whoa. big head and little arm situation Whoa, like that like dinosaur. The breathing. Walk into the theater. Earn this meal. What? I can't believe she's that out of breath. That's horrifying. <laughs> How much left? Like 10, 15 okay. minutes oh, left. Sorry. I don't know. Sorry, Dad. Um, is there a parcel for a room? Um. Oh, we missed it. Did it get delivered? Is she too soon? I don't know. <clears throat> She's so anxious for the third ravioli meal. Let's fast forward. Oh, it's almost over. No need to fast forward. Is she going to stand there and wait for the delivery driver? I don't know. I'm wondering if this is how it ended because it's almost over. Uh oh, where's she going? It's not there? Where's she going? She's confusing. Uh oh. Drama. Let's get in the elevator. Tell us all about it, Chantal. Yeah.